Hello, cuz it's Briar626 here, and I am here with Mason, or Sergeant Meso on YouTube, and this is his first place deck profile for the Chicago tournament that happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, sadly, the audio for this video is gone, um, so I have to voice over everything, and I will do my absolute best and do the best job for Mason here uh, for him to, to kind of explain everything on his deck. Um, but as you can see, he ran three of the Power Creep Boys, which is the Hydronoid, uh, Arliss Ultra, uh, the Aquas Cubbo, and the Pyrus Nobilius Ultra. Um, now, the cores he ran with it was uh, three Fire Fists that had plus 250 B power and plus three damage. He ran two Magic Shields of plus 650 B power and the one Fire Fist plus six damage. And that was just basically for the Might Mac decks. Um, he didn't want to. He always kind of felt like he lost against those, so he threw in that core to help you know grab that extra B power or damage in there, so that he, one he can deal the damage, and two so that he can basically just do everything he needs to do. Um, and those were pretty much the Bahu gun he used. Um, pretty much, of course, the Power Creep Boys um, is, is basically what it is. Um, of course, going into the cards, we had uh, three of the Arliss Titan Hydronoid Ultras. Um, of course, this is like one of your key cards that you used. You kind of just have to bring him out with the core. It's 2450, um, which is ridiculous how much B power that is on a turn four Bahugan. And you can bring that out pretty quickly as well. Then he ran two of the Pyrus Titan Nobilius Ultras. Um, now this is a five cost card, which is a little interesting uh, for it to being a five cost, but it still is a very powerful Bahugan uh, landing on either a Magic Shield or a Fire Fist. It literally is a very strong Bahugan. And then we had two Aquas Cubos, uh, Hyper uh, Cubos, uh, which was really cool. Um, I like Hyper Cubo. He's actually a really cool one, um, especially Aquas Cubo in general. He's such a good Bahugan anyway. Um, and his hyper, I think it's pretty good for a two cost. I like it. I think it's really good. And he's saying that it was, it, he liked it. Um, and the nobilis, uh, he really didn't really bring out, I think, a whole lot. But he said he did bring it out some. Uh, now going into the action cards, um, he ran three quick fires, which I think he's about to bring. Yep, there you go. So he has the three quick fires. Um, of course, this is a great card. You basically have to run three of. If you're running any pirate deck, you run three of. Zero cost to reroll, and you get to do the burn damage, which is really good. Uh, especially if you can win on the burn is really good and the next one was one super fuel yeah i, I went one super fuel he goes yeah i only have one uh he doesn't have more uh he really wanted more but he only had one uh from the collection and everything he's got um so that was a bad thing then he had two uh dark waters um this is for the b power and then he had three deep dive um he chose three deep dive over three dark waters uh because he wanted the draw cards instead of the b power because he already had some heavy b power bahugan so you wanted to get that extra draw instead of the B power, um, which is still very smart um, way he did that. Uh, I think anyway, it basically still gets the rerolls um, off of him, which is really good, uh, and I like that a lot. Um, he did a really good lineup with that one cost. Um, now, this next card he has, which is really a cool card, I really like this card. Uh, it's one it became one of my new favorites uh, lately. And that is three liquid arts. Um, now this is a three cost card to plus uh, 400 um, B power. But if you have an Arliss on your team, it reduces the energy by two. So it basically becomes a one cost card. Uh, since you have the Arliss uh, Hydro Hydronoid on there, uh, it just makes it that much good. Uh, it, it makes it makes a turn one 400 bonus so if you're going to get some mirror match it's a great card i love this card the more i've played with it and i i, I kind of want some so if you have any let me know uh then we have three blinding ink uh the three blinding ink it, pfft, this is pfft, a great card um i mean it's just it's such a great card um you literally just play a drop two energies to negate anything that is uh three energy cost or less that your opponent's playing that is an action card which is really good. Um, I love that card. I've been playing it now, um, and my deck is great. And then he ran two Song of Fire, um, which of course, going off of the Super Fuel, dropping that is basically five energies for the turn, which is good on turn one if you can pull that off. Then he ran three Hurricane Winds. Um, now this was a really interesting choice. Um, basically being able to play an extra action card uh, for free, um, which is really good, um, I, I think anyways. It's actually not a bad touch. It's just a three energy cost card. Um, which is cool, um, but he's able to play. He's like, he didn't seem like he really had any trouble bringing it out or playing it, which is really good, um, which is surprising. I was like, okay, that's really good. 
Um, but of course, it also com uh, combos off with, with this next card he's uh, about to show, which is 3 Wave Slash. Um, since you get to play the next action card that is 4 or less for free, um, this is a 3 cost. You're basically getting, I think, 1400 B power, if not 1500 B power. I think. I can't remember how much uh, Hurricane does. I'm trying to look at it and I can't see it. Um, but it, it, it's ridiculous what you can do. You can combo off, I think, uh, Hurricane Winds into a Hurricane Winds into a Wave Slash, which is ridiculous what you can do with that. Or even just any other card. It, it, it's crazy what you can do uh, with that. Then we are going into the heroes. Um, he ran two of the Aqua Strata and two Dan Kuzo from BB. Um, both of these are the BB heroes uh, versions of them. The Strata was basically to help draw cards and making your opponent draw quicker, so it kind of thinned out their deck as much as you could. Um, and the Dan, which was really interesting. Um, the Dan, that was a really interesting card. Um, he said he never used Dan. He never used Dan. He put Dan in the energy, so he never played Dan in any of the games in his tournament. We did a four-round uh, tournament, uh, so which was very interesting. He said, nope, never used Dan. Had him in my hand, put him in energy. Never used him. I was very surprised with that. I was like, okay, cool. Um, so didn't even need to use Dan. Um, and then of course we have the flips. Um, he's still talking about Dan. I know Dan's just is a good card. It's a great card. He just never used it. I know. I, I'm I'm shocked as much as you guys are. I thought he would use it. Be like Dan, just keep keep pulling out that Dan. But no, he didn't really care to use it. And he just has it in there just in case he needs it. Um, but yeah, now going on to the flip cards. Um, this was really interesting as well. Um, he ran three of the uh, Fierce Charge, um, which was really interesting. This just stops the nun Arliss Bahaga for three energies. They ran uh, two Hidden Treasure and one Fang Strike. The two Hidden Treasure basically stops an Arliss Bahaga gun for one energy, and if you do draw two cards, Fang Strike does pretty much the exact same thing, um, but instead of drawing two cards, you deal five uh, or four damage uh, that's from a Pyrus to your opponent, um, which is really good. Uh, good burn damage on to your opponent um, But he basically ran the six flips. That's all he ran So ba basically anything to stop Arliss and anything not to stop any Arliss um, He took that kind of consideration when he built this deck uh, off of what I chose which is really cool um, Of basically just running six flips that stops everything um, which is really cool um, so yeah, so that is the first place deck that went in to Chicago. Um, I basically was asking him any shoutouts. Basically, go over and check out his channel, Sergeant Meso. It's going to be on the screen here, and it's also going to be down in the description below. Go check him out. Um, those are a bunch of uh, the other people. We got Bailey and his uh, second place uh, champion, uh, which was his girlfriend, and then the um, other guy in the back there. He was also was playing in the tournament. Um, so yeah, so go check him out uh, down in the description below. His channel link will be there. Go show him support. Tell him Briar66 sent you. And that is the deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button and become a cousin in our family. And make sure you click that bell icon so you guys get notified of videos just like this one here. And I will see you all next time. Bye!